we have a standing wall clock. Um, I have to confess, this is an exercise that I'm absolutely terrible at. So because my shoulders are a bit stiff and because my upper arms don't rotate well, I don't do this exercise very well. So it's a really good one for me to do. I don't get pain, it's just hard. But when you watch this video, you may well notice that my shoulders don't look even and my upper arms don't look even. Uh, I know that, uh, but this is a good exercise for trying to correct that. So you may well look and be much better at this than me. For standing wall, we're going to be standing facing the wall. So it's gonna be like this. We're gonna stand pigeon toed. So our big toes are together and our um, ankles are sort of wider. And we're gonna take our arms up the wall like so. We're gonna spend a minute like this. We're gonna spend a minute like this. And we're gonna spend a minute like this. You may have seen the other versions of wall, flo um, wall flop, floor blocks. So there's one on the floor. Uh, <laughs> you may have seen other versions of wall clock. There's one on the floor called floor block and there's kneeling wall clock as well. So there are different varieties and it's the same exercise as those, but your position is different. So for uh, wall clock, you are going to need to have your golfer's grip here. So golfer's grip is not a fist. It's not weak floppy hands. It is tight up until, sorry, it's a uh, bent, so it's straight up until that first knuckle, the fingers are all tucked into the hand and the thumbs extend out and the hands are rigid and powerful. So there's gonna be a lot to think about in this exercise and you'll probably notice that you're gonna to want to lose that momentum in your hands. I will keep reminding you, but you've got to keep your hands super, super tight here and active. And the motion that we're going to do, I might just head this towards the camera to start with before I face away, because you might not be able to hear me quite so well, is you're gonna be pushing up with those active hands in that golfer's grip. So you're really pushing up with the hands, but notice how when I push up with my hands, my shoulders also go up around my ears. So at the same time, you're gonna pull back and down with your shoulders, which is definitely the thing that I struggle with the most. So the hands drive away, the shoulders pull down, and then finally, you're gonna try and externally rotate your upper arms, but you've got to keep the shoulders as far down as possible. So you're driving away with the hands, pulling down with the shoulders, and then if you try and externally rotate your upper arms, which basically means take your thumb sort of away from your body, but it originates from the upper arm, not the wrist, I'll, walk, I'll say that in a second, you might notice that you then start losing the shoulder position. So focus more on the shoulder position than you do the external rotation. The external rotation is like the last piece of the puzzle. Focus more on hands being active, driving away, shoulders pulling down, and then the external rotation happens afterwards. So with the external rotation, it starts from here, you twist out with the muscles around the shoulder, and you can see how the thumb follows the trajectory of what my upper arm is doing. What you're not doing is this. So this is just you bending your wrist or twisting your hand, the movement occurs at the shoulder, not this. So don't get overly uh, sort of set on trying to do the external rotation, because if you're only focusing on that, for lots of people, they're doing this rather than it happening at the shoulder. So focus more on that drawing down at the shoulder. As your shoulders strengthen, you'll find it easier to get that external rotation. Try and keep your belly relaxed. Remember your breath is nice and calm throughout all the exercises. This is a hard one, so you might notice that you're trying to hold your breath keep breathing and you're going to imagine that person pulling away with your hands back and down with the shoulders and twisting the upper arms we've got three positions three minutes in total i'm not going to be very good you can look at my shoulder positions to see what i mean and standing pigeon toed i'm going to set the timer in three two one and off we go so my hands drive away my shoulders pull down, my thumbs are facing behind, and I'm externally rotating my upper arms and I'm keeping my breath nice and relaxed. Keeping your knees straight as you do it. Driving up with hands, fingers and thumbs stay tight. We're not bending the wrists, we're pulling back and down with the shoulders. And we're twisting the upper arms. I'm just going to check my timer. Got just over 20 seconds left. I'm 
just over five seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one. Relaxing down. We're going to do exactly the same thing, but this time we're doing it at 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. Driving away with those hands, back and down with the shoulder, twisting the upper arm. Okay, three, remember to keep your knees straight if you can. Three, two, one, off we go. And stay active and tight. Breathing is relaxed. Arms are straight, hands drive away. Pull down with shoulders, I'm so bad at that. Twisting upper arms. 20 seconds left. time and we've got one final position left and we've got 9 a.m. and 3 p.m. on our clock I find with my body that it's like impossible to start with but I do feel things sort of loosen up slightly but I still know I'm bad at this one this is a hard one okay pigeon toed feet straight knees hands are active in golfers grip driving three hold on I'll start that again didn't do a countdown did I three two one go Hands drive away, the thumbs are facing backwards, shoulders pull down, upper arms twist back. We're not bending the wrists or overly thinking about the direction of the hands. The hand direction will come as the shoulders open up more. steady breath. Active fingers and thumbs, arms are straight, hands driving away, shoulders pull back and down, upper arms rotate back, knees are straight. 15 seconds left. And that's our minute done. I definitely need to do that one and all variations of floor block and wall clock a lot more because I find it really hard, not painful, just hard. So I hope you enjoyed. Ow.